Okay, multimedia students, we have our photography final all set, ready to go. We've got our slides, all 10 pictures, title, and, and we've got the table of contents. So now we're adding the audio, which is the soundtrack. Uh, instrumentals work well for this. Uh, the one I chose was from Ben Sound. It's called Serenity. And we added in there, try to hide the icon as best we can. We're going to change this from on click to automatic, so it plays automatically. We're going to play it across all the slides, and just in case the song's short, we're going to go loop until stopped. Uh, even though we discovered that uh, hiding the icon during the show doesn't work when you convert it to a video, we're going to try it anyway, just in case it does. Last thing you want to do uh, with your song is make sure that you put it to the very first in the order of animation so that it plays first and then the other animations go. And I suggest that you test it out so that you can be assured that that's what's happening. So that's what we're doing here and I am hearing it. I saw that my animation worked and so that's a good thing. So now we can go and export this and create the video that we need. Um, I suggest changing this to at least 12 seconds per slide because the default is 5 and if you leave it at 5 seconds people will not have enough time to read what you've put for your photo descriptions. So as this processes, uh, it takes a few minutes to do so to convert it to an mp4 file, you should go over to your Google Drive here and prepare it to receive the files because you're going to turn these files in from your Google Drive so that I'm not doing a bunch of downloading I'm just accessing a copy of your file from your drive which is way easier for me plus it's a skill that you should be able to learn and should have learned how to use your Google Drive as a way to have your files accessible uh, to you even at home so this is putting the video in I've got my video I've got my PowerPoint slide because you're turning in both okay and so we're going to go back and go to the assignment and actually this is my view so I'm going to go over to the student view so that we can see what you see and so here we are I did it for period one you guys in period three and six it's the same thing looks the same way I'm going to open and I am ready to turn this bad boy in so I'm going to go to the add button and there's the Google Drive button which is really convenient so there's the two files that I put most recently just a couple seconds ago and I'm gonna add them and you'll see that I've got the PowerPoint PPTX extension there and then I'm going to do the link of the video file um, or the Google because what that does is it references the the videos link instead of me having to download every video and play it which is convenient for both you and me so we've got them so the second way of doing this is actually going and getting the link um, but both ways work I just wanted to show both ways um, so you can go to this share link for the video and so you can be assured that it's the link and not just the file because again if it's like a hundred megabyte file that takes a little longer for me to download and actually grade so we've got both files we got them sitting ready to go turned in click the turn in button as usual make sure you've got two files not just one because if you're missing one it's automatically 25 points that you're not going to get and that's going to suck for you uh, because this is a 50-point assignment. So, I've turned it in. 